we um, talked earlier about the fact that Wales is the land of song and people mm. are, grow up singing, they take part in the Estes yeah, and so yeah. on. And so there's a sense that the people who come, the audience now who comes to Cardiff yes, Singer, yeah. probably has a lot of people who are singers, amateur singers, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. frustrated singers even sometimes, you know, yeah. and there's this moment that comes at the end of the week yes. when the Welsh anthem is yeah. sung yeah. to really round off and close the week. Yeah. The winner's been announced the jury and all of the contestants are standing on yes, the stage yes. and they strike up the Welsh national anthem, which is about... It's about, the, yes, exactly, it's about song and singers and poets and it mentions the harp, which is the national instrument of Wales. And I think mostly the winners of the, of the finalists are all standing on the platform. Yes. And all of a sudden, they're met with this wall of sound. The audience all gets onto their feet. The audience yes. all gets onto their feet. And it's it's written in a very good key, which means that most people can manage it. Everybody you know, can get the top notes at the get, bottom. Yes, exactly. It's all <laughs> well done. And of course, it's done. I mean, it's sung in all sort of rugby matches, football, you know. I and, know. It's quite spentingly. And, and of course, the it? other thing, of course, is that it's in the Welsh language. So um, in, 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 in the United Kingdom, of course, it's... It's a little bit unusual in that I think a lot of people aren't aware of how important the Welsh language is, is in, Wales, in Wales, is that we have everything legally, our, all our deriving licences and, and yes, signs, everything it's fully is bilingual. In, a fully bilingual country. And there are many, many, uh, my children, for instance, they speak Welsh because mm -hmm. uh, they go to a Welsh school. There are lots of, of many, many Welsh schools. So that aspect of it. Is, and it's, it's a very a, beautiful language. It's a beautiful language. Yes. It's a very singing. I mean, somebody yes. like Bryn Terville, I would imagine, wouldn't have heard English when he was when he was because he, yeah. he was born in North Wales and yes. in the middle of Snowdonia, you know. Yes. And so it's 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 part of um, part of the, the culture. The, yes. It's a very important cultural aspect. Yeah, and it probably age singing because the vowels are very pure and yeah. it's it sort of. I, but I do vowels. I do remember Bryn saying he loved loves singing in Welsh and woven. He can, but he really envied people who were German and be born in Germany because yes. their native tongue gave them some of the greatest music yes. ever written for True. voice, certainly in song. Yes. So yes. Um, yes. It, it's back to this business of people using their own voices. Using the, yeah. yeah. But but that moment when the audience gets to their feet and sings the national anthem. I know. Special. The shock of of the look on people's faces when they you know. You know and the like, example we have, I think you see Jamie Barton ah. realizing that this whole audience is. Desperate to sing yeah. back well, and, the and repay, is the word. repay the the vocal gold mm -hmm. that they've been enjoying all week. I think. It's and I, I think special. what you're saying is true, actually, about the people that have got. There's a lot of people that come that are in choirs or in you know amateur singers yes. and 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 ex experts, yes. you know, yeah. and they want to get up and they want to to sing to as repay, well. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's yes, true. Yes, it's true.